Top of the morning to you. This is Brian at LifeChampion.coach. Last time we talked about becoming a better team by looking at who, not how. Getting people in the right places, doing the right stuff. Today we're going to keep building on that. How do we know what people belong in what places? Um, so I've been reading um, the six types of working genius. And I did the assessment, actually. And I really enjoy... Um, this system, it says, what are the geniuses that people have and where do they fit in a team, in a company, in, in what you're doing? So um, I'll go over quickly the six types of working genius. There's wonder, discernment, enablement, invention, galvanizing, and tenacity. Um, it came out in my results that tenacity and discernment are my high performing or my my working genius areas and it, when you do the assessment it gives you three sections what's your high what's your good and what's your i don't want to do this um, my working competencies were wonder and invention and i don't want to do this was the galvanizing and enablement um, and enablement's a horrible word for that i think um, a better substitute word for that might be encourager. Um, and what, what you can do with an assessment like this, and the book is really written in a, a nice story format of a team that discovered their working geniuses, put people in the right spots, and started working, and um, their productivity went up, their quality of life went up, their feeling about, hey, this is fun. Um, I should have said this before, uh, wonder, um, intensifies the need for improvement or change. Invention confirms the importance of that need and generates an idea or solution. Discernment assesses the merit and workability of the idea or solution. Galvanizing generates enthusiasm and action around the idea or solution. Um, that was that galvanizing? Enablement initiates support and assists in the implementation of the idea or solution. So enablement uh, is kind of encouraging, supporting stuff. So enable, I have a negative paradigm for enablement. Uh, as a coach over many years, enablement is, hey, you can do what you want, and I'm going to support you in making bad choices. So that's why I struggle with that term. And tenacity, uh, I was surprised by this um, for me, uh, commits to ensuring that the idea or solution gets completed and that the desired results are achieved. So as a coach, I have tenacity um, and discernment. So I can help you get where you're going and what you're doing. And I have that discernment to help you determine what you should be doing. Uh, so grab this book, um, look at, here's a little uh, blow up picture of the six areas if you want to screen grab of that. Um, wonder, discernment, enablement, invent, uh, invention, galvanizing, and tenacity. And you can see D and T are highlighted because this is my actual results report. Um, if you're working with a team and um, performing together like a software development team or a business team, a sales team, marketing team, the, the assessment would be a good place to go because in the story in the book, um, the author is not the, the enabler or the encourager. And he's also not the tenacity. Those are like one of his lower end ones, the way I remember it. And somebody else on the team was like, I totally love doing that. So it kind of, in, in some ways it turns the world on its head because you think the leader has to do this stuff. and certain roles have to do certain parts but a real team says what are your strengths what are your favorites what are you what do you like to do and typically what we like to do we're really good at doing so grabbing that and looking at the team that way and go well we need a, somebody to be encouraging we need somebody to be pushing we need somebody to check the details and make sure everything gets done and if we dig in that way and assign it to whoever has that strength, um, whoever has that passion, gets that task or that assignment or that job for the team, the team's going to be more powerful. 
You may also find doing the assessment with your team that we don't have anybody that has this working genius on our team. And as you look for adding or expanding or growing the team or shifting team members around to different teams, how do we go back to the last book, Who Not How? Who has invention? We need invention on this team. This team doesn't have invention, so we're lacking. So getting those six types of working genius um, is a powerful way to grow um, your, your family, your business, your teams. A family is a team. Um, so go grab the book, make a better team, make a better life. My name is Brian. You be blessed.